In this update, I have added several new tools as well as additional functionality to previous tools. Up first, we have the dot loop selection. Basically, it selects every other edge in a loop pattern. And you will also have the function to select dot rings as well, which is the equivalent of the dot loop but in a ring pattern. Also, we have the bevel vertex, which bevels the corner vertices of a plane into a round profile. Currently, it only works with border vertices. For future versions, I'll add the option to bevel interior vertices as well. And now I will show you how the pivot tools work. For the mesh pivot, simply select the target mesh first and then the source mesh and click mesh pivot. Then it will just transfer the pivot along with the position and rotation as well. Here we have the min y pivot. Select the object you want to use the tool on and click min y pivot and it will set the pivot to the bottom of the bounding box. And now we have the final pivot tool, which is the set world pivot. What it does is it takes the pivot and set it to world origin. This will ensure that the pivot is always in the same place so that when you update the model, it will not break the ring. I've updated the smart separate where the user can select faces and separate them without deleting the original faces, keeping it intact similar to Maya's duplicate faces. And that is it for this new update.